Good morning. On this special day of Easter, let us pray for Westminster and our world. God of endless life and new beginnings, we give thanks for your goodness and steadfast love on this special day of Easter. Now hear our prayers. We pray for the church throughout the world that we may be faithful witnesses to the resurrection so that all may come to believe and have new life in Christ. For the people and leaders of every nation that your boundless grace, which shows no partiality, might bring Christ's reign of peace and justice to all. We pray for all those who are rejected and oppressed, that they may know the liberating power of the gospel and rejoice and be glad in this day of the Lord. We pray for people throughout the world as we battle a health pandemic. Give us strength to take care of ourselves and to take care of each other. Give us strength to face this health crisis and the joy at the, and joy at the opportunity to slow things down and count our many blessings. We pray for those who take care of us, for the health care and safety workers, for the people who support us in essential businesses. Give all of them strength and fortitude to carry on. We pray for this family we call Westminster Presbyterian Church. We pray for our leaders. Let us celebrate new ways of coming together to worship and remember the families, that families are not defined by the, only the walls at 13th and N Streets in Sacramento. We offer all of these prayers of joy in the presence of the risen Christ for the promise of a new creation where all creatures may live together in safety, compassion, and love. And we pray together the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.